once again, thank you for joining us on the Sports Coma. And uh, DC, we're going to start it off by talking about Mr. Brandon Coleman. Of course, Brandon Coleman, everybody familiar with Brandon Coleman. You talking about Cole Love Martin? Uh, no, oh, okay. we talk about Brandon Coleman, a tremendous oh! giant wide receiver, the, the six foot six <laughs> wide receiver that blocks up the field very well, yeah, that catches play. when he wants to. Brandon Coleman had a good year last year. We're not gonna do that to him, man. Uh, I'm glad we we got him back. Um, that definitely shows up our running game and three receiver and four receiver sets. And he is a quality off uh, option in the passing game when you don't have to rely on him. I think he's a very quality <laughs> option. That is that is definitely the thing with the well, fact that you don't like have to fourth, rely on him. He our fourth guy instead of probably he was like our third guy last year. Uh-huh. And, you know, he did pretty good last year. He wasn't horrible. I don't remember him dropping a lot of passes. He had some big splash plays. He didn't get in the end zone as much as you would like. Well, he played 16 games last year. He he's, uh, started six of them. For the Saints, 150 snaps for uh, the season. Targeted 37 times. He had 23 receptions for 364 cool, yards, three receiving touchdowns, two fumbles. Man, if I'm, come on, B. <laughs> come on, B. So the details now, we get Brandon Coleman back. The details of the contract wasn't readily available. We'll keep on it. Uh, but Brandon he Coleman was, is back. He was, he was the third guy, so he, he facing the third best cornerback. But uh, you put him in that fourth. That fourth slot where he's used to, or maybe third on some of the rushing plays. Um, I think you maybe get a little bit more production out of him. We run him through, you know, the dummies where they try to knock the ball out of his hands. We get him to <laughs> do that this year, and he start fumbling. And, I mean, you got a pretty quality guy for probably not much money. Uh, did you find any details on his contract? No, none, I none, nothing, not, nothing I found. It's nothing released on it, but we'll probably Well, I'm, I'm going to take that, media, and I'm going to say this. It's uh, probably going to be next to nothing. Yeah, now. because we can't find no details, you know. <laughs> it can't be a lot I of mean, money. I mean, if you so. think about the, the the tender that they tendered Willie Sneed, which they was quick one to, year. They're quick to tell you that. Well, one year for $1.9 million. I mean, come on. Wh- we didn't want to give Brandon Coleman one point nine. Right, so, so wh- where is it along in there? I think you know, they so. gave him somewhere around probably like 500000 a year, I'm guessing. Well, he wanted to come back. That was what he said. He wanted to come back. Yeah. And then the fact that he didn't really generate any interest anywhere else. So Because we know his worth. We know the worth of Coleman. Well, Coleman is he right now. He could be a can man, too. He's a cold man. Right? He's a no, potential man. Work. He's a potential. Because <laughs> potentially he gets, he, he looks good, and potentially he looks bad. That's the he potential pretty, man. That's what you call Brandon he, Coleman, he looked, the potential he looked, man. He looked good last year based on his blocking ability, bro. I really wanted us to get him back because a lot of those big plays you saw Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara making – what went unnoticed is those big splash plays down the field. You saw Coleman knocking people the hell out the way, and I'm going to just be real. And he wasn't being shy or nice about it. So I, I'm really happy to have him back based on that aspect of his game because if you look at that part of his game, he definitely gets a A. He comes back into a crowded backfield, I mean a crowded uh, wide receiver pool. What? How? And, well, you only got four receivers. He is technically. Great. Well, as, he's as, the, well. You, I guess you would have to slide him as the fourth man now, right? right. Somebody okay, got to so. beat him out in training camp. We got a lot of uh, possible potentials. talent and potential. So man. you got potential. You got uh, a lot of potentials going at potential man, right? Okay, but we so. got four set guys. You know, you got Meredith, you got uh, Thomas, you got don't Ted forget the junior. Oh, I can't forget junior. A lot of people forget Junior. Junior put up almost a thousand yards. Yeah, about six or seven. Don't touchdowns. forget the people Junior. People be forgetting Junior. Don't forget but, uh, the Junior. Yeah, we got him, and then you got Coleman right there, man. So I mean, we pretty much set. We usually only run about five receivers, so you're gonna have somebody fighting for Willie Sneed old spot. But uh, you got Tommy Lee, you know. Tommy Lee, right there. Jerry Lewis on the mic, and that's that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> but I mean, we'll have to monitor, but. Wide receiver news in abundance because as Brandon Coleman signs with the Saints, Baltimore signed a signing Willie C to an offer sheet, and uh, it's uh, reported it's reported that the offer sheet is worth seventeen seven million dollars with a three point four million dollar incentives and includes Damn. two million dollars. <laughs> Damn! 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 They gave Willie Sneed all that. They gave Willie Sneed. It's the deal is worth seven See. million dollars. With a three point four million dollars in incentives and includes a seven million, a, uh, excuse me, a two million dollars signing bonus, according to sources. Congratulations to our brother Willie Sneed. Really, so, no, no, uh, no slight. I'm, I'm glad you got your money, baby. Yeah, uh, trust so. in God, like you, like you tweeted. Yeah, that process does work, my brother. But 
Stay off the sauce while you driving, my man. Oh, I think he will. I think he'll be on his best behavior in Baltimore. Ain't New Orleans out there, bro. uh, But he's joining a few. He's joining a few people out there in Baltimore. Not to get all up in their stuff, but Willie goes up there. Michael Crabtree, like New Orleans, but it ain't the same. Michael Crabtree's there from Oakland. He comes over there. You got John Brown, who's with Arizona. He's there, and he joins Perriman, who's been in uh, that hadn't really showed up. And he Willie Sneed is obviously going to probably be one of those slot guys. For Joey Flacco, so congratulations okay. to Willie Sneed. Cause I, I assure you, brother, the Saints are not yeah, gonna match gonna that tender. You can forget right. about that. Man, we ain't never we paid offered you one, receivers that much. They offered you one point nine. That's the lowest they can give you. So I know they ain't gonna match nothing worth seven million with three point four incentives if, uh, and a two million dollar signing bonus. Ain't no way. You think people gonna talk bad about us? How we talked about Meredith? And because they said Pay should have gave uh <laughs> Gave him the two point no, nine million no, dollar. No, 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 nah, and they could have got a draft. No, because I think that we got the better deal here. I think that Cameron Merritt. No, 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 no. Not, not with that. I'm talking about there. the fact Willis that we didn't give was. Willie Smith a, a second round tender, so we could have got a second round draft. Pick That's interesting. Out of Baltimore. That's interesting. But the same. It's thing. just been like a million more dollars. Right. right we that, made the same mistake. Uh, the that's that's a point. That's a point. That's, that's a point. That's true. We could have got something out of the deal, but we and we don't have to pick in the second round, man. Right, so that could have been Damn. interesting. We could have got a second round tender. That's Baltimore interesting. Wanted them that bad? No, I don't think so. I think you'd have, <laughs> you'd have been stuck with that sucker. Ain't no doubt about it. That's why they did it. <laughs> let's let's move on to the next topic. Let's talk oh, about man. a quarterback retiring. DC Ooh. former Saints quarterback Luke McCown oh. is retiring after all these years. Luke man, McCown I he was is hanging it up. His own fell off. Him and his brother. He was like 38 when he was playing over here. <laughs> thought he was 58. <laughs> Luke McCown, man, who was a pretty good backup for the yeah, Saints. He, was, he came in there when, you know, Drew Brees. You remember those few games with Drew? Yeah, it was like uh, three games out of his whole career and as looked, a Saint. Right, it looked damn good in that, in that yeah, Saints we offense. With, beat the Panthers. Right, which showed me that. Went to Super Bowl too. Which showed me that the Saints uh, offense is, is pretty QB friendly if you got the intelligence to mm. understand. Hey, and, hey, hey, Drew Brees don't want to hear you saying that now. Yeah, but Drew. On the guy, hey, he, hey, he, hey, on, he on a limited hey, clock anyway, so hey. he got Drew Brees on what they say a two year deal, which really breaks down to one. Lamar Jackson, <laughs> if Lamar Jackson <laughs> falls to us, but not let you hit uh, guys. Anyway, let's <laughs> Luke McCown. Congratulations to your retirement, Luke. Playing a very long time in the in the NFL, mostly as a backup quarterback, had some solid years. Came you know with the Saints, fourteen year career. As a as a quarterback uh, in the NFL, man, living a dream, and uh, Luke McCown is he re- he announced his retirement, and uh, wow, you know, just uh, that that it's huge. Now, of course, Luke is from you know he was a fourth round pick out of Louisiana Tech back in 04. Okay. So he's a homeboy. See, see. He played with Cleveland before spending time with Tampa, Jacksonville, Atlanta, and then eventually the Saints. He resigned as a free agent last year. Instead of the Saints signing Chase Daniels, who Chase Daniels chasing the money all over the NFL, he chasing man. chasing his dreams all the time. Man, he, he's doing it. But in 2008, the Saints looked to a younger uh, field of quarterbacks with Taysom Hill and Tom Savage, who comes over from Houston Texans. McCown, then he was with the Dallas Cowboys last summer, but failed to make the team in preseason and has not been able to catch on ever since. So he said, you know what? I done played in this league for 14 years. And I, I've decided not to pursue a 15th year. I'm going to just lay it down here. And maybe seek it. And perhaps I can go and talk about it on TV like a lot of these guys do. So, you know, Luke McClown, man, uh, uh, big ups to you. McClown, <laughs> <laughs> he retired, bro. You got to show some respect. Okay, McClown. I'm sorry, Luke. Right, I'm anyway. Sneak uh, that in. You think you should. Yeah, I used to sneak that in there on old Luke McClown uh, with, with that Luke McClown commentary. Well, I used to talk more about your brother, Luke. Yeah, yeah go help he, your brother out, Yeah, because Luke, uh, Luke's brother go hold uh, a clipboard in the Jets the pre, 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 before last year, he didn't look too good. He had a pretty damn good year for right, the Jets last, last year. year. But, yeah. But, anyway. Let's keep it moving, D.C. The Saints schedule came out, my friend. The Saints schedule. All right. Re- re- release, and we'll go over it before we hit the break. And the Saints schedule, came, of course, they released the, the preseason. We ain't going to go over that. We're just going to focus on the regular season. The Saints uh, go through uh, their long uh, schedule here. And it starts out, they start out two home games against Tampa Bay on September the 9th. Then they face off against the Cleveland Browns September the 16th. The Brownies. The September the 23rd, they travel to Atlanta in that brand new building to take on the Falcons. September the 30th, they take on the Giants in their building. 
They come home October the 8th against Washington. Then they have the bye week at the six weeks. So we got the bye very early this year. The six week, no, we I get like, that bye. I liked having it that uh, week 11 last yeah, year. Yeah, me too. Because that that's nice. perfectly where it is that last year. But not this year. We, we They're going to get it early. Then coming back off the bye, the, the, the Saints will travel to Baltimore to take on a very tough team. Perhaps Willie Sneed was looking for a little revenge right there. Oh, then, really? of course, you have the October the 28th matchup at night, a primetime matchup yeah. against the Vikings. Yeah. Big time matchup right there. We come yeah. back to New Orleans for the Rams, which is going to be excellent. Then they go to Cincinnati for the Bengals, come home for the Eagles and Falcons. Then travel three road games. That's right, three road games starting with Dallas, Tampa Bay, and ended up with Carolina. Then they finish after, off. After Atlanta game. Yes, and then they finish off at home week 16 three and 17. Games in this beating the Steelers and Panthers. Yes, the Saints, I think it's like, what is it? Yeah, a lot of primetime games. Yes. I'm loving it. Yeah, a lot of like six primetime games, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, why, it's about why six. Why the Pittsburgh game? Maybe they say we're giving y'all enough. That, that's too much for y'all. But anyway, that's the same schedule. We'll have a schedule show down after the draft is over with. When, you know, when things get a little bit more settled, we'll go over and do a full Saints schedule show, breaking down who we think will win these games and the likes. But we're coming up on the commercial break. When we come back, we'll finish talking about the Saints and DC's mock draft. Stay with us. Stay with us. 